Hello and welcome to my tutorial series. I will be showing today the old way of ripping cars from Need for Speed titles using Ninja Ripper, which we have here. Uh, everything is also displayed on my Discord here, pretty much the whole way, but uh, we'll also do it in a video right now. Uh, after this, in a new separate video, we will be using Car Toolkit, uh, which is the common way of ripping cars nowadays. But yeah, let's first show the old way. So in order to uh, later on import the rips, we need an uh, importing script, which is by default not installed. So we need to take care of that one first. The script itself is included in the file which I have on my Discord. So we go to Tools and you can see here Blender Ninja Importer. This and we will copy paste this. Here's also the README uh, if you want to read it through, but I'll show you straight away. So we need to put this into our Blender pretty much. So you go to Blender, open the place where it's installed. I actually have version 2.79, some people have 2.8, but it's a bit confusing still, so most of us prefer this version. Then we go to scripts, add-ons, and there you go, we will copy-paste this there. There you go. Well, you may have to run as admin if you want to modify stuff, depends. But yeah, so it's here, now we have to install it into blender so we will go to file here so we install from file uh, then we i pretty much have it here in broad on files but you're looking for blender foundation uh, scripts add-ons and then uh, the file is named here blender import this one and enter that's it then uh, here in the search bar you have to manual search it and just pretty much enable it save it and done see this is the file now it's enabled save settings there you go now if we did everything correct we can see it here and that's it one more thing which i use for showing stuff and uh, you will also find on youtube some youtubers use it is uh, a script which will display what I'm pressing. I found that one on Google. Uh, I think I have also the link for it on my Discord. If not, I will include it later. But let me just quickly enable it. It will benefit us later on. There you go, see here. Now you can see what I'm pressing pretty useful so now we actually have to run the ripper itself which is already prepared in my case if you installed it then you have to uh, specify the directory for need for speed carbon you actually have to put this command line as well otherwise it doesn't want to work don't ask me why uh, and we will be ripping with f10 I think it's default setting also and um, you need to bypass your uh, antivirus uh, I did it uh, but for some reason it does not want to work so I'll just disable it for the moment then we will turn it on again hi I'm Emmanuel so we'll just rip just any car, it's not important. Uh, display. So, this menu, for example, is perfectly fine. We just hit F10, the game just froze a little bit. You can see uh, it's working again. That's pretty much it. We can quit it, close Ninja, close everything, and of course, enable Antivirus again. There you go. Uh, now we can uh, import the rip using 
this. Uh, well, you have to search for where you ripped the files. I have it uh, changed. You will have it in Ninja Rip or something. Well, I have it here. But basically, you look for the time when it, for the date, and it's saying Need for Speed Carbon right here. So this is the file. We select everything pressing the A button. See everything. And you have to play around with this down here. Just pretty much repeat after me. All this have to be selected. And that's it. We can import. It's gonna take a little bit depending on how shitty your PC is. Mine isn't really that good. It's old, but it gets the job done. So now you can see, for example, the car was somewhere around here. We actually, uh, there you go, here. Uh, but we have to delete everything around it. So this is pretty big scene actually. Well, I prefer to use the B button. See, in the left down corner, you see, I pressed B. So this is one way of selecting. And then just press and drag it and it will select everything. Pretty useful. So we're just gonna delete everything that is not related to the car. But you have to be careful so you don't uh, accidentally delete something from the car, otherwise uh, you have to repeat the process later on. So pretty much take your time. Well, this old way took a little longer than uh, the new car toolkit. And uh, you can, like I said, you can fuck up a little bit here and there if you delete something wrong and uh, you have to join together the parts pretty much which you will see just in a moment after we have cleaned up the whole scene so the parts are uh, in little pieces like this is also a good example of looks like it's broken but not really it's just uh, put in two random pieces pretty much uh, this for example the bonnet or the hood if you want to call it the hood is uh, in one piece but uh, every part is a single piece of its own in car toolkit uh, parts are usually joined together some are even uh, like let's say front fender and uh, side skirt if it's a body kit and stuff is uh, all joined together so I will later on split it so I have an easier time working with parts when I'm modifying, copying, cutting, joining together stuff. Uh, that's my way of doing things. Uh, White Box actually showed me this, that we will be putting a seam around every part. So uh, we don't have trouble when we have to rejoin stuff together later on. But first, let's clean up this mess. Uh, there is some huge parts that are hard to see in the scene so uh, see this is for example one if you delete it and i'm also using shift c to center it again once the big parts are gone uh, there we go then we will see the actual car so there was like two or three of the big parts now we just have to clean up this little mess here which is the hard, the difficult part or uh, the part where you can fuck up uh, if you delete something wrong so here we will take a little more time because let's say i just uh, don't pay attention and i do it like this and i don't notice this uh, orange line uh, i will delete a big portion of the car so like i said we nice and slow But this was the way to do it before we got the car toolkit. Uh, you can also play with the lens. If this is too small for you, I always boost it when I'm doing some smaller stuff let me find it there we go lens so now by default it's 35 
uh, which is fine for most people but when I'm working let's say on something really small like this I will go for around 100 you can notice the difference also when I'm going really in there I can still work with it if it was 35 then it's starting to disappear but it, it depends on the part then when we go into edit mode you can see this strange pieces these are the normals i believe which we can yeah there you go normals which we can uh, make invisible for the time being so we can actually work on the model so we press these two and it's the same story with every part <laughs> and as you can see there is a couple rips so first of all we would take care of all of these uh, which i'm not gonna do entire because we don't we don't need the car but then there is these strange things which will be joined together later on uh, pretty much you press one then you press the other one control j and it's together then there is a special uh, feature which I always use, uh, super useful, on your right uh, numpad. If you have a laptop, uh, it's a bit different and you have to customize your settings, I believe. But on a traditional keyboard, it's on the right side. Uh, you use this numpad slash. Uh, so you go in, uh, there you go, user perspective local view. If you press it again, you are just in perspective, but like I said, local view. So in this, uh, we will just be looking at one part. So you are not bothered by the other parts if, if it's a whole car, so you can work uh, more direct with it. So here we would then just join more stuff together, like we are lacking this piece of the front bumper. Uh, then I would be separating stuff like this is the fender I would have to separate this uh, then side skirt area uh, this would also be body so later on uh, fender and rear fender would be joined together into body this would be separated into side skirt uh, I would also have to separate this area make it front bumper um, then the whole windows actually that's called glass that would be a separate group uh, this also headlight glass would be put into glass tail lights for example usually it's glass but if it's tinted like red tint then it's also separate because glass in general is transparent uh, this would be tinted but it depends on the car <laughs> so this would be the way of ninja ripper uh, next video we will be uh, separating the parts like I mentioned and putting a seam on uh, around every part so we can later on join and uh, separate them again which I will also show and uh, since we will be using the car toolkit we will have to fix a couple sharp lines which get messed up in the process uh, which we will also discover so see you in the next video Thanks for watching.